Hi folks, this is State Representative Nino Vitale coming to you today from sometimes what I feel is a bunker because uh, that's about what we need. Uh, today's video is about gun rights, free speech, and corruption in state government. I hope you'll hang out. I know not everybody's issue is the gun issue, but it's important that you hang with me on this because what I'm going to describe to you about what happened this week in the state government is what happens on many issues, which is why many of us are completely frustrated, including, including in what's going on at the national level, where we have, we've given the Republicans the House, the Senate, and now the presidency, and all they're doing is fighting with Trump on things and, and can't get anything done. So what happened this week? Um, House Bill 142, we have a problem in Ohio where you have to notify a police officer if you're on a traffic stop if you're carrying a firearm. Uh, this law doesn't exist in 40 other states. Uh, so this, this is a very unusual thing. It's caused a lot of problems. Uh, we have folks who have spent thousands of dollars defending themselves in court. Uh, one person notified within 51 seconds. That wasn't quick enough. Sometimes things happen in that, in that tense situation when you're in a traffic stop and something doesn't happen the right way or whatever and, and it, it, it can cause some issues and frustration on, on both sides. Uh, in fact, I had a constituent who came to me and said he was pulled over, it was a routine traffic stop, there was some miscommunication uh, between him and the officer, he ended up in court, spent $3,000 to defend himself, uh, only to have all the charges dropped, but he had to spend all that money uh, in order to get there. Now he had his concealed carry license taken away and, and he's got to go back and take that class from an, uh, an instructor like me and uh, it just, it, it's just causing a lot of confusion which is why 40 other states in our great union don't have this kind of a law and, and Ohio needs to be 41. So I was a proud co-sponsor of the original legislation that basically took away this duty to notify because as we know we don't have a problem with our most law-abiding concealed carry holder citizens shooting police officers. They're not doing that. We have great respect for our police officers and our law, law enforcement officers. Um, so I co-sponsored this bill and then comes the special interests and they got the bill. And the main purpose of the bill is taken away. So I decided to introduce language and amend the bill back to its original form that the, co that the original sponsor wrote. I picked up all of his language and I, and I put it into this amendment. I submitted it to the clerk's office, did everything in the correct procedure of the house. It was on all of our laptops. Everybody knew it was there. Pretty short amendment. Pretty easy to understand because everybody knew about the spill. Pretty high profile issue. Well, if you look at the House record, you'll see that the Speaker of the House moved the order around of the bills. This was supposed to be first, and then he moved it way back to the bottom. Then he disappears from the dais yesterday while he's in the background working all kinds of shenanigans to figure out how are we not going to get this amendment out there? How are we going to deny people to see in the arena of ideas and have some good debate about this. Well, so I stood up. No, nope, I wasn't recognized. A Democrat was recognized. So let the Democrat speak. As soon as she was done, I stood up again and I yelled, Mr. Speaker. Now, mind you, I'm right in the front row. I'm in the front row of the state house. So it, it's not that I'm that far away. Other people that were up in the gallery said they heard me yell. And instead of calling on me, he gaveled me down and said the House will prepare and proceed to vote. Never gave me the right to represent my district and the gun owners of Ohio. Shameful. Shameful. You can see all this for yourself. It's hard to hear some of the audio because, of course, they wouldn't let my mic open up. Um, but sadly, all these deals are done behind closed doors. The Toledo Blade covered this. And, and here's, here's their quote. Let me pull this out here. I want to read this to you. Okay, gun rights advocates are divided with some angry lawmakers when some angry lawmakers backed away from the original intent of the bill to do away altogether with the driver's duty to inform that officer. There you go. Now, who is that? Well, the good groups that are fighting this, Ohioans for Concealed Carry and Ohio Gun Owners, both strong supporters of the original legislation, which is what I was trying to come back to. Okay, back to the article. Representative Nino Vitale Urbana planned to offer an amendment on the floor to revert back to the original bill's language. But House Speaker Cliff Rosenberger called for a vote before he could. The truth is the Speaker denied my right to represent my district, as I've said before. I was even approached by two members, Republican members, who claimed to be pro-gun, and I was muscled and told, don't offer your amendment. We don't want your amendment on the floor. So back to the Toledo Blade article. 
they still voted for the watered down bill. That's the Toledo Blade copy. So you can read that for yourself by going to the Toledo Blade. You see folks, when I first ran for office three and a half years ago, I told people the things that I stood for. And I have a rule, do it. And don't just do it, fight for it. But this is the problem. We, 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 you know, that life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness thing, I mean, many people just give it lip service. But I support our Ohio and U.S. Constitution. So, you're likely as frustrated as I am. I appreciate you listening. We've given the party the House. They said, oh, we need the Senate. We give them the Senate. Oh, I don't, you know, we can't do it. We got, we got to have the presidency. We give them the presidency. And now what are they doing? They're fighting Trump. It's time to get the wall built. It's time to get Obamacare repealed. It's time to get some of this stuff done. So hang in there. Make sure you stand for the national anthem. God bless you and your families. Carry on the fight because I will. State Representative Nino Vitale signing off. Thank you.